Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. I do hope you're all well. Today I have a day in my life. Now as you can hear I'm trying out a new style of video and I'm actually doing a voiceover. So do bear with me while I get used to all this voiceovering. What a lovely day. Not. Today is a big fat revision day. So uh, that's lovely. Yeah. I started the day by making myself a green tea. I also had some Weetabix with this, which is usually how I start every day. If I'm not having Weetabix, I'll have another kind of cereal. And of course, because of my sweet tooth, I had to add some sugar to my Weetabix, which maybe I shouldn't do this, but I did it anyway. Then I tidied my desk and as you can see it was a few hours later. After I tidied my desk I started revising for my calculus and vectors exam and to revise I was just watching some videos and doing some past papers and practice questions. And for anybody wondering I was doing some revision on Leibniz integrate rule. I did get a little bit stuck and I needed some help so I rewatched my lecturer's video on the topic. So maybe it corresponds to the volume of water in the bucket. We're filling up, we always can expect that to change over time. Now the question is, did we really need to integrate and differentiate in order to do this? And the answer is no, we didn't. If we know the Leibniz integral rule, then we can avoid that step. My classes for semester two don't actually start until the 8th of Feb, as the week commencing the 11th of Jan is the revision week, and then exams for me start on the 18th of January. I think I've got exams the 18th, 25th and 29th, I think. I then completed some online quizzes of revision, and as you can see, I was struggling to type in the answers with one hand. We have to type in the maths using the keyboard, and then make sure the syntax is correct. Checking my answer, as you can see, at least I got the answer correct. I then moved on to volume and surface of revolution. I needed to relearn the formula for the surface area. And for anybody wondering, I'm using GoodNotes 5 here to take my notes. I still do use Notability sometimes, but GoodNotes is now the main software that I use to take my notes. I then went downstairs for a quick stretch of the legs. I grabbed myself an apple, I washed it, and then I headed back upstairs. The apple was very juicy, so it did explode. Or I just dribbled, I don't know. You can decide that one. Then me and my apple got back on with studying, and here I was still doing some surface area of revolution. I actually love this clip because the sound of the pen on the iPad and the paper-like screen protector is so satisfying. Oh uh, yeah, but yours is the hunting online, isn't it, Harry? Because I've seen yeah, is it? Or was yeah. It, was um, so it was kind of like when we started uni, it was going to be just first semester, and then small teaching then could go online. Then at 6pm, I jumped on a call with some of the team behind Study Stream. So the whole time was just until the middle of February. I think. Mm, I think they might review it in the mid of, middle of February, but it probably looks like it's going to all be online. I, I like that, I've just literally just seen that now, that one, I, I like those. We were just chatting about what we can do with Study Stream and how the social media can really help students in lockdown. One suggestion was to inform students about how topics they learn in school can actually relate to the real world, which I thought was very, very relevant. Listen to this. That's relevant because I was doing, well, I was doing volumes of, and surface areas of revolution, slight integration. And uh, I was sat downstairs yesterday, I was looking at the fruit bowl and I was like, I could work out the volume of that fruit bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Only a mathematician would ever think of that while they're having their tea. Yeah. Anyway, we finished the call. We were just chatting for a little bit. And then after the call, I went downstairs to play Mathable with my sister Lucy. 
If you like Scrabble and you like maths, then this is the game for you because instead of making words, you have to make equations. It's actually a very, very good game. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Could you just pick a zero out of all of that? Four. The first few games didn't go great because we couldn't actually make any equations quite early on in the game, so we had to finish. But I actually won the final round with 732 points. It was time to feed the guinea pigs, and they had kale, cabbage, red pepper, carrots, and sweet corn for their tea. I couldn't be bothered chopping the cabbage up, so as you can see here, I'm just ripping it. I then grabbed my coat and I grabbed my very bright torch from upstairs that I got for Christmas and as you can see that's how bright it is, very bright and then I headed out, please ignore my fluffy sock you're about to see because I forgot I had them on and um, they keep my feet warm outside anyway. Hello everybody, hello, is everybody okay? Who wants something to eat? Hey, who wants something to eat? Come on then. Now before feeding the pigs, I actually decided to do a little bit of a clean out and I was kept occupied by my friends that were on FaceTime with me. I left the camera inside the hutch and if you listen carefully, you can hear Audrey biting it. Audrey, don't eat the camera. Then Audrey wanted to give you some kisses. Aww. I'll just give him the and there's camera Lucy. A kiss. Oh, she's licking the camera. And of course, Hilda had to join in as well. Hi, Hilda. Watch Audrey's little run. <laughs> How cute. Here I was putting some new hay in the hay rack at the back of the hutch and I actually lost balance and I fell Ain't into no the shed fine. wall. Ignore the singing. Bloody hell, nearly fell into the shed wall. Then as you can see, here's a time lapse of me doing the clean out. It's literally my head popping up and down. Probably wasn't the best angle, but in the guinea pig shed, there isn't really anywhere else to put the camera. After about 30 minutes of cleaning, it was finally time to feed the piggies. So here's Hilda enjoying some kale. Here, Hilda. To make sure they stay warm overnight, I always top up some fresh hay. I do this morning and night, but I always put hay in the bedroom at night so that it can get snugly warm. Then I headed back inside and it was time to import all the footage I've filmed over the day and edit it all together. Then once I'd done as much editing as I possibly could do, I went on a website called backyard.co with my friends. Here you can see us playing and we basically played a few different games and it's a pretty good website because you can be on a call with your friends and play games at the same time. We were playing a game that was kind of like Cards Against Humanities 
and here is me zooming in and smiling at you. There you go. I of course had a green tea with me while playing the games and that was all I did for the night. So this is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think of my voiceover because it's the first one I've ever done. And apart from that, I will see you very, very soon with a brand new video. Bye. Don't eat the camera.